Oh hayo minasan, Yuzasif here. In today's lesson, we're doing a recap of Ninja Komoi. And what's better than a sensei telling a story in class? Right, Shinpachi? Right, how did you get this job anyway? Simple, really. An email and a phone. Before we start, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that we could turn on the projection screen over here. Pay good attention, because we're about to get started. <laughs> The story follows Kanye West at the beginning of his career, back when he was a local producer singing in the streets. What are you talking about? That's not Kanye. You don't have an ounce of sarcasm, do you? The story kicks off following this nameless nerd in a suit, stressed and anxious as he runs away from a black guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Black ninjas. Black ninjas, all right? Deliberately pushing himself into a corner and giving them the perfect opportunity to surround and kill him without leaving so much of a trace. In anime, movies, or series, if you see a scene where someone is running away scared in his tracks, oh, he about to die. And this guy over here, he's dug his own grave. I guess wearing glasses does not always translate to intelligence, does it? Dude, I'm right here. Shut up, four eyes. And stop interrupting me, will ya? This nerd could actually pull some decent moves out of his ass, killing these scary looking ninjas right and left like they were fodder, catching needles with his tongue in jack and style. But we all know that not amount of punching bags can do the trick, so level 20 boss himself bought it in. This guy looked like a combination of Bane and Traitor, evil and ruthless, and oh it was brutal. My man did him like Madara did the 9 bijus and dragged him like a piece of trash crash until he finished him off the same way Jin Wu from solo level and reached his demise. Except in this enemy our poor nerd didn't get to respawn. Yeah, too bad he didn't get hit by a truck and be sent to another realm full of big booba waifus. Such a shame. He looked like a nice guy to me. But it serves him right. Should've chosen a better place to run off to, like the police station or something else. Any other place would've been safer than an alley at night. I guess his head was not in the right place. Oh. Oh my god, I'm about to vomit. This looks like an enemy Kagura would enjoy, not me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Disclaimer, it's an 18 plus only. It's not like anyone puts that in mind. Isn't it too late for that? Forget it. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, just close the door behind you. Oh yeah, where were we? Ah, the next guy we see almost suffered an even worse fate, as he was almost caught off guard by his demon of a child. But luckily, he's got Gri Singan, as you can see behind his head. This guy, oh get this. He's like a blonde Batman. He's one hell of a badass ninja. But he doesn't fight crime and he isn't half as rich as Bruce. He's also got a bit of a Minato in him. He's got a few jutsus in his arsenal, a redhead of a wife like Kushina and a Naruto-like trouble-making child who is much more well-behaved. At least pulling pranks on his family instead of the whole village. The three of them make such a happy, happy family. Very heartwarming. And you know, in shows, if he see someone way too happy, you know it's not gonna last for too long. And the thing is, they got a lot of chances to escape that inevitable fate. But our bad Minato here being the worst detective in the world, he was able to miss all of the motherfucking clues. Get this, my man sat right there watching news about a horrific murder, a man killed with extra sharp weapons, oh, and by the way, a group of people probably did that. And yet the police can get any leads. And this former ninja sat there wondering. I wonder who could pull such a stunt like that. Yeah, nothing to worry about, buddy. Nothing to worry about. These things are coming, so get back to your happy life. Turn on that uplifting music, it's happy moments time. A few days passed. They turn on the TV hearing news again about another guy getting killed brutally. Same style, same way. Nothing to know about these four. Almost as if they were hiding their identity. Oh, and by the way, this is the fourth case of the same type. But my boy here, he ignored all of those red flags like a colorblind Gen Z girl. Those clues phasing through him like Obito's camoy. I got a feeling that even if the killers left a letter there saying, Logan, you're next, he'd still stay there and wait for them to come after his ass. Shit is looking bad for them. But my man sat there like, no worries, let's celebrate. 
celebrate your birthday, Naruto. My man is singing with his guitar, happy music playing in the background, and wet to sleep soundly. Like nothing, nothing to worry about. And yeah, spoiler alert, he just so happens to wake up at night. No particular reason. Probably sensing something with his ninja senses or whatnot, allowing him to foresee danger. And my boy Logan being the smartest detective alive, he decided to walk down the stairs. Away from his family, he's like, Um, who could this feeling be? Is someone after me? I should stay away from my family so that they can easily get to them, hold them hostage or kill them. Um, yeah. <sighs> he gets jumped by those motherfucking ninjas. And unlike Jonin's and Ambu's in Naruto-verse, these guys can actually wound even the main character himself. And just like Minato, he's too fast, but he's always too late. Schrader already caught Kushina and Naruto. Just like Abito did. And unalived them. He's got a very similar treatment to Minato. Turned into a semi-donut by a level 2 minion. He's like the Minato you'd get from AliExpress. He witnessed the death of his family. And the studio decided to turn the happy music on. In Jujutsu Kaisen style. Yeah, they probably did that for the memes. They mimicked it a little too hard. Because this guy survived his heart getting stabbed in Yuji style. He got back to life after he was pronounced dead. And the FBI came to investigate. A black FBI agent. They investigate him. And more black people move him in his wheelchair. My man finally had enough. And got the racist out of his skin in Nobara style. He just wouldn't stop Kaisen in his jujitsu would he? He sliced some ninjas using the 10 shadows technique and Sukuna slicing jutsu using the whole arsenal of team 7 of jujitsu including the demon inside Yuji. You add Minato to that and he wipes out armies of ninjas in under a minute. And then he gets to the final boss. African American Shredder. He fights a fierce battle with him and uh, uh, oh okay he, he kills him. Damn, that was quick. Oh, uh, so it's a revenge story and he gets his revenge a few minutes after he loses his family. Oh look, he moves on, burns his house and walks away in style. The, 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 the story ends here. I guess. I guess it does. Wait, hold on a minute. Isn't this like a 12 episode anime? Probably with more seasons to go? <sighs> Look at them spoiling all the fun. Ah, whatever. That was hella quick, but whatever. Leave a like and subscribe for more. It helps a lot. Let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. Should I cover the rest of the episodes? You tell me in the comment section.